Today in Halo News, we have an HCS special talking about the return of Final Boss, a new top eight quality team. 100 Thieves partners with Halo, but could they have a team? Well, Nade Shot has his concerns. And Sentinels win the qualifiers for Raleigh. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again, give you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. Today we're doing a bit of an HCS special because there's not a whole lot of other news going on, but HCS is super exciting right now. I was up really late last night watching the qualifiers for the Raleigh event happening in a couple weeks here. Oh my god, these games were good. So let's not waste more time guys and just jump right into the news. So if you like these news and informational videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to update with everything going on with Halo Infinite as we inch day by day closer to the the official release of the campaign and multiplayer well make sure you tap subscribe so let's get right into the content here so yes you heard me right guys final boss is probably going to be making a return here to halo infinite if you take a look at this tweet right here the final boss twitter account was just created like this month and their first tweet was the picture of the final boss logo which this is kind of crazy that they were able to get the twitter handle of final boss as you can probably see right here if i zoom in properly right here they actually got the twitter handle final boss so you know that they paid some money to get this account have this official twitter handle here and the only person that they're following right now at the moment is sundance from mlg and they haven't said anything else yet but it looks like maybe some former members might be interested in helping out Final Boss. Ogre One tweeted this out back on November 24th, saying the hype around Halo Infinite reminds me of the Halo 2 era, which Final Boss dominated in. I've seen Halo and the esports scene rise and fall for two decades now, and we were perfectly set up for another rise. I love to share my wisdom with an org looking to form the Dynasty team. My DMs are open but having a legend returned like ogre one to halo guys would be absolutely huge and why is the return of final boss so significant well let me show you why well first off they actually have a wikipedia page which is kind of crazy but let's take a look from 2004 to 2008 the heyday of final boss you can see that every event that they competed in they either won it or finished in second place there's one outlier in 15th but i think that might be a special event this halo 2 team especially with ogre 1 2 saiyan and walshi which was an absolute monster of a team all throughout 2006 it was first or second place all throughout 2007 first or second place with the team of ogre 1 ogre 2 walshi and and strong side it wasn't until like 2008 where they actually got some serious competition of course that was when halo 3 launched and so the esports scene for competitive halo blew up then so there's a very strong history of final boss and halo together obviously as the story develops i'll let you guys know exactly what's going on with final boss it might be kind of tricky for them right now because a lot of the talent out there right now has been kind of picked clean at least the big name established people within the halo community for competitive side of things have been picked up but i think there's still just is enough people interested in playing halo that you can probably find some unknown legends out there with some good talent because the interest is certainly there for halo infinite this is a list of all the amount of teams that ever signed up for a halo event and that big blue line at the right side the 406 teams that's how many teams competed with the open bracket for Halo Infinite. So literally the most amount of teams to ever sign up for a Halo event happened for this qualifying series for Halo Infinite. Obviously the esports scene has grown drastically from like the Halo 2 and Halo 3 days, which is right over here. But out of these 406 teams, do you think there might be like another like 12 people out there you might be able to find that could really compete in Halo? I'm talking about more teams getting together to compete in Halo. 100 Thieves, which is one of the most popular cre content creator organizations out there has shown some interest in Halo. Jack Dunlop, aka Courage, mentioned this right here, saying that Halo and 100 Thieves somehow have made some kind of deal together. I don't know what it is or what they're doing exactly if they created a team, but 100 Thieves does have a very strong esports influence when it comes to their organization and content creation, so we could see some form of partnership coming our way with this nade shot showed that he's a, a little salty that he didn't get a team together for halo infinite this is what he said damn i'm fucking salty uh all right now i, just, I think now i just want a damn 100 thieves skin in this thing. well we could do it you know i encourage you 
You did encourage. Well, even if we wanted to get into Halo right now, I don't I don't know what if we would even have could find a team that can compete. I I, I could have found a team for you. I know you could have, okay? I'm just saying in the past, yeah. Halo had a really hard time finding its way and getting people to watch. Every comment, it's like a 200 upvotes. We need a Halo team. <laughs> Bro, literally our community like our core our most rabid fan base, they say we need everything and anything, and then we go and get it, and then they don't fucking care like a month later. Everybody wants us to be a part yeah. of everything, but they don't realize how expensive and logistically difficult things are to do. Let's think of free agents in Halo, and if you guys can build a compelling Halo roster, which I just don't think there's many people available anymore, maybe I'll get us a Halo team. Which I totally understand from Nate's shot's perspective that like, yeah, being, you know, jumping into Halo sounds great and everything, and it would be really awesome to see that happen. Logistically and cost-wise might not really be there, especially since Halo traditionally last like 10 years has really struggled to get viewership within the competitive scene. Though with the first HCS event that we had the qualifier, there was like 70,000 people total watching like a qualifier match, which is kind of crazy. Uh, this most recent event that we had this weekend, uh, we must have had at least like 30, maybe even 40,000 people watching the finals at like also really late at night on a weeknight. I'm talking like 1.30 in the morning, at least my time on the West Coast because the tournaments just ran so long. So I think the interest for Halo is certainly there at some level. It just depends if the level of investment is worth it, especially with a lot of the talent being kind of picked up right now, at least for the moment, because a lot of these partnered teams with HCS that already picked up their rosters like way before we even saw campaign or multiplayer gameplay. But if they get a roster together, you know that's gonna bring some hype for the community and I'll definitely report it on the channel here. So I knew Halo roster was just announced like not that long ago, back on November 30th, like they just announced the team together, but they got Kratos, Spectre, they also have Porky J, Filthy, and Breezy. Now, if you guys are really into HCS, you probably recognize a few of these names. This is a very solid team. They actually did very well. Because for the HCS Raleigh qualifier, they finished top eight. They were a top eight team. Like they just got put together like last week and they're boom, they're a top eight team already. So this is gonna be a group of guys you're gonna wanna keep an eye on. Since we're talking about that most recent event here, guys, Sentinels just won the qualifier kickoff for the HCS event for Raleigh. Not gonna lie, Sentinels were kind of struggling the first couple of events right there. I'm still expecting the Sentinels team to be like one of the top competitive teams in Halo. But this series that they have between Optic Gaming, which Optic Gaming is proving themselves to be a real force within competitive Halo, and my God, was it an awesome match to watch. I was up to the wee hours of the morning watching this series, guys. It was just such good Halo to watch guys i couldn't take it off i was actually on stream we we're just doing a watch party on my twitch channel guys if you want to check me out there link in the description down below we do stream every tuesday and thursday evening and guys these games were so good i thought optic was going to run away with it they had the first two games within the series they dominated sentinels and then sentinels just flipped the switch and decided to just completely turn it around and actually won the last, next three games which set a bracket reset so then it was a like grand final ultra ultimate grand finals like whoever wins the series wins and guess what? They won that series three to one. So well, Sentinels finished out the last seven games by going six and one, which is just crazy how they just flipped the switch and just absolutely dominated the rest of the series. But these games were close, competitive. And it was awesome to watch the high, Halo just play to such a high level. And you learn a lot from watching these guys as well and seeing what the other teams had to offer guys that like, this is going to be a really good event in Raleigh. Like all the other teams involved with it are just going to be so competitive. It's going to be very evenly matched. Like. It's the door's wide open right now still. Like even though Sentinels and Optic are very dominant right now, I think that if any team really brings their A game, you know, they really could have a chance to run the run the table, I think would be awesome to watch. So as it sits right now for the qualifiers, we have Sentinels, number one, then Optic, Inconceivable, and E United all got into pool play, and then you have Cloud9, G2 Esports, Exit, like we mentioned earlier, and Pioneers GG. So if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Info news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.